I'm Aaron Taylor-Johnson, and this is the behind the scenes of my Rolling Stone UK cover shoot. If we sort of narrow it down to actors that have been able to have versatility in their decisions and beautiful work and great performances, but also be in Marvel or DC or any kind of heightened comic book, big budget, however you want to say kind of movie. I mean, for me, I think, you know, Joaquin Phoenix is someone who's a great example of someone who can bring his talent into a heightened world like that and give it depth. Christian Bale is also another phenomenal actor who can go be a leading role and be Batman and also deliver award-winning performances and show that those kind of actors will dedicate themselves to that specific genre, that film, that character, and go, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the Batman that you've all looked and seen and followed, right? But I can also go off and do the fighter and I can do the machinist and I can go do American Hustle and Deep and, and Vice and be completely different in every aspect and, and show the, the versatility, right? I enjoy that kind of level of like versatility and, and, and challenges and, and characters, right? I think it's very easy for everyone to get sort of pigeonholed in a certain thing. And, and when that happens around me, and it tends to, you know, at times, it's in my best interest or in my own sort of controversial nature to break that mold and try and shift and change and do something different. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if you're not overcoming a fear or putting yourself in an uncomfortable position, you're not really sort of challenging yourself or pushing yourself. You have to put yourself out there and be vulnerable or, or be open to making mistakes. In order to get to somewhere, like in order, if you're trying something new, it's not an easy direct path. It's, it's a messy one and it comes with bumps and turns and, and, and obstacles and so there is no trajectory you know there are some people actors or artists or whoever musicians you can look and go oh my they have like the a phenomenal trajectory and an incredible career of success after success and, and I like to mix it up to be honest with you I like to do different genres and I like to play different characters and I like to work with different filmmakers and actors uh, I'm very much a collaborative sort of person and I think that's kind of what shapes my decisions in the moment. And, uh, and everything's built on trust so that then when you are trying to like do something new or feel like you're going to be a fool, um, you're in good hands, right? There's thousands of opportunities and stories. And, and um, after the, the writer's strike, I'm looking forward to reading some some great material and I think you know there's an opportunity where there's great characters and interesting original stories and, and things that will just inspire me. I'm a collaborator and it's like you know I want to I'd love working with great writers and then and then there's you know a director comes and brings their vision for that story. You have a great story but you don't have someone to uh, captain that ship then you know it's can be kind of messy. There are constant thoughts and ideas, but there's nothing gets fully, fully molded to the point where I'd be like, this is what I want to do. There are musicians, by the way, I find that musicians or, it doesn't really matter, musician, it could be an artist, it could be anybody, it could be someone, a politician, it doesn't really matter. Those are real great sort of personalities and characters that you can draw upon. Um, four characters sometimes. So, for instance, like in Bullet Train, I was very in love with the aesthetic of, of Nick Cave and Warren Ellis and that swagger and that kind of cool. So I wanted to bring that to the character with that sort of pinstripe three, you know, three piece suits and things. And, but I also loved the unpredictable wiriness and scrappiness of Robert Carlyle in earlier movies you know, too. So these aspects that you draw upon and you pick, there's so many people in society that are like icons or figures that are kind of like, oh, I like that. I'm going to use that at some point. 